really well. You joke well, I, I did pop a lip on. <laughs> <laughs> I met Jerry Halliwell and I was like, oh hi, I was in I was in fever forever. And she was like, oh sorry. <laughs> I've been a swing before and I've definitely been standing in like someone else's place. Job hopping from that job to that job. It's beyond my wildest dreams. Being a, a single mum, there's so much that resonates with me. Like, it's making me emotional now because I'm missing it, but yeah. Hello. Hold on a second. Oh, oh. This always happens. There we go. <laughs> Wait, is that better? Yeah. There we go, we got you. Hey Phil, how are you doing? I'm very, very well. How are you? I'm good. Now, it might look like I'm in bed, and the truth is... Okay, you're I am. <laughs> But I'm not actually in bed. I've been so subjected upstairs. Oh yeah, well, there we go. It's how we, it's how we roll these days. Exactly. It's how we work from home. <laughs> that's why I'm loving about this lockdown, the fact you don't even have to trapes across London to interview people or get out of bed. I don't even need to put exactly trousers on. I think it should stay this way, no? I know, right? <laughs> no, I'm not wearing anything under it. No, I'm joking. Yeah. I am. I am. Ooh, I was, um, I've been watching a lot of Ricky Gervais and he was, he's just like absolutely loving the fact that, you know, you don't have to go anywhere for like interviews and stuff. It's oh. it's brilliant. Isn't it great? Thank like, you. we don't we don't want the pandemic to last, but maybe like if, if all interviews can be like this from now on, we don't really mind, do we? <laughs> <laughs> no, I'm only joking. I I do miss going places. I miss London. You're looking really well. You joke. Well, I, I did pop a lip on. <laughs> <laughs> I popped a lip on, and don't worry, I've got my portable light that I carry with me everywhere I go. <laughs> On I mean, the that... street, <laughs> just like that. Hi guys, how you doing? <laughs> Find my light. <laughs> yeah, no, last time um... I saw you, you had pink hair though. I know, I had long pink hair. That will return, I'm sure, right. but it's lockdown. It's lockdown hair at the moment, isn't it? It's uh, yeah. it's not glamorous. No one's really, it's roots, ahoy. It's... <laughs> God, when can we get to those hairdressers, for God's sake? <laughs> soon, soon, we hope. But have you been homeschooling as well? Because you've got a daughter, haven't you? Yeah, that's why I'm upstairs. She's downstairs watching Friends. Oh. <laughs> How old is <laughs> she? I She's 10. Right. So, yeah, I've been, I had been homeschooling. Thank goodness they're back at school now. Yeah. For their sake as well as mine. But, um, yeah. It, well, it, well it done you long... for getting through it. <laughs> Did I? <laughs> <laughs> I mean, she survived. You both survived. <laughs> she just about survived. So that's great. No, yeah. to be fair, she had, um, I was lucky because she had like lots of Zoom. She just had Zoom lessons yeah. every day. So I stay homeschooling. What a, what it meant was just being upstairs while she was downstairs with an iPad. So it wasn't that difficult, if I'm honest. It could have been a lot worse. So I, yeah, I mean, because you are a working woman, you've not, you never really stopped. So has this actually been quite nice to have your nights in with her? You know what? The first two lockdowns, I was distraught. I was missing work. I was like, I can't believe this. You know, I just want to get back to work. Want to get back to work. This lockdown. I've had a, an epiphany. <laughs> I just kind of embraced it. And I was yeah. like, do you know what? When, and it was something Molly said to me, my little girl, she said like, oh, I'm really loving like, like the fact that I can see you like so much at the moment. And I just went, oh my God, I've got to just relish this time yeah. now. Because yeah, when she's at school and then I go out to work at night, I literally see her in the morning. That's it. See you later. And then I don't see her until the next morning. So I'm actually really relishing this time now, just spending like until we go back to work, until everything gets back, spending time with her and just enjoying that. That's that's my from the heart. <laughs> to, to it, is, it is true. It is true. You've got a kind of I think this lockdown has made me finally sit down and reflect, which is what. Right people kind of needed to do I think sit down and reflect on everything because it gives you the time and um that was one massive thing that came up for me so yes I am enjoying my time with her but I do want to get back to work now <laughs> oh, yeah exactly you will do were you a bit, little bit jealous when Jamie went back and they were like oh, jealous I'm still in that. I'll be back up. I was one I was really really happy for them yeah. I was really really happy for them there was a part of me that was like, oh, <laughs> um, 
but good like kudos to Nika. She's yeah. been amazing during all this. God love her. And I did say to her, look, you know, if you need an understudy, Margaret, you know where I'll be. <laughs> I'll be at home doing nothing. So, you know, I can always come and fill in if anyone's ill. <laughs> um, but no, no, I, 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 I'm, I'm going to go. They're going to start up soon, aren't they? So yeah, I'm yeah, going to go start in a couple of weeks. Jane's going back into it. And I, I'm going to go and see them all because I haven't seen it since I've left. So, yeah, I'm happy for them going back. So you started as an understudy in that show. Was that right from the beginning when it first opened in the West End? No, I didn't do Sheffield. Um, I don't believe they had understudies in Sheffield. Right. Uh, or maybe they had, it was like in the cast. So no, so when it first came to town, that's when I joined. Yeah, and I joined as an understudy. So I, under, I went on for all three of um, Miss Hedge, uh, Ray. And wow. Sheffield. Yeah, which was a great job. Yeah. Do you know what I mean? So, like, to get to do all those three characters, which are brilliant in 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 different ways, was so so good. And then to kind of, but my affinity always lied with Margaret. You know, I, I yeah. loved going on for Margaret, and I just adored Josie, who who played Margaret before, and I was just like bowed down to her. <laughs> so, um, that was a real when when I got that job, I was like over the moon, over the moon. And of course you had three sons. So you had like John to start with and then Luke. And then did you yeah. move on to Leighton as well? Yeah, yeah. Yeah, I'm yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah. You have so, a favorite. I can't say. There's no <laughs> way. I said no one can they're all amazing in their own ways and I love them all. There's no way. It's like choosing out of your own children. I know. But I <laughs> and don't ask me about the Evans either. <laughs> but what I loved about it, because it, they were all so different. They were all so, so different, which I loved as yeah. well. Because, you know, uh, it, it, and, and also when understudies go on as well, I love that because it's a different energy. Um, and you just get to, like, play off what, what you're given. And they what they gave gave me something different to do as well. So it was brilliant. It was brilliant. And they're all absolute superstars, all of them. Like Luke, John and um, Leighton are superstars yeah. in their own right. And God... I'm lucky to have been on stage with all three of them. And then we've got the movie version coming up soon. Movie version. I can't wait for that. Have you, have you filmed the cameo in it? No, I haven't. No, 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 I did not. I wish. That would have been amazing. Yeah. But um, no, um, but Shobna's in it, who I did, um, yeah. who was my first race. So, and and I, I've met Max before. He's absolutely lovely. I'm sure he's going to be amazing. Yeah. So I can't wait to see that. And Sarah Lancashire, I mean, she's one of my idols, literally one of my idols. So I'm really looking forward to seeing that movie. It's going to be incredible. It looks it, it, it looks, it looks brilliant, doesn't it? And I can't believe, like... Little Jamie that started in Sheffield, the, yeah. the guys that Johnny B and Dan and Tom like have just they've done they they it's magical what they've done. They've taken this story and made it into a musical, first of all, then it came to a, a massive West End show, and now it's a movie that's gonna be in, you know, across the world. Yeah. I wonder what I, I sometimes wonder what Jamie um Jamie Campbell is thinking. Like yeah. Like, you must have met him because I've met him. Yeah, yeah, I've yeah. Met him loads. yeah, he's he's lovely, but gosh, can you imagine? There's just just a casual movie being made of my life. Of my life, you know. <laughs> <laughs> um, but, he's uh, cool. Him, him and his mum are very, very nice. Yeah, so they were they were very um uh, involved with like you know they'd come and see the show a lot. They're really lovely. They must just be like I can't. You know, it just must be crazy. Well, I do Watch. remember the first couple of times I, I watched it with them in the audience. And you, can like hear, <laughs> you can hear him whispering, going, that didn't happen. <laughs> <laughs> I know. Well, yes. <laughs> I mean, it's artistic yeah, license. It's artistic license. Yeah. So I, 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 um, yeah, it must, it must be weird. Yeah. Because they've taken their story and, you know, it is artistic license. So, no, it didn't happen. But, um, but you can't complain when, there's, when, there's, when it's about your life, can you? So, I'm, I'm, yeah, no, that's hilarious. I think <laughs> when when they're in the audience, the audience spend mo more time um, looking at them rather than looking <laughs> at the show because they're like want to see their reactions. And did Molly come to see it then? Oh yeah! Oh God, Molly loved it. Yeah, yeah she she came um, sat with me when I was an understudy. First of all, oh she was obsessed. 
kids, you know, like 16 year old kids. So a, a 10 year old watching that, she was, and there was yeah. a swear in it. And, you know, oh, she loved it. She absolutely loved Jamie. And she loved um, all the Hugos, all the, um, yeah, all the uh, uh, Loco Chanel's and everything, all, all the drags, everything like that. She loved it. Yeah. I think it's great for kids. I think yeah. all kids should go and see Jamie because the, the, the story's so powerful and so, such a, a, a lovely story like what it you know the message it gives I think it should be on the curriculum yeah. that's just that's that's just my it's, it's about inclusion it's about um current like what's going on in the world and I just think it's same with Evan Hansen as well like, yeah. I really I think think shows like that should kind of be on the curriculum and that leads us nicely on so when he came to Dear Evan because obviously you you seem such an obvious choice to play her and at the oh. time I remember thinking they won't they won't go for that well, I wasn't. I wasn't a name. That that was. That was. Yeah. I, I, that's what I thought. I was like, well, you obviously played this, a similar character. You were in the West End already. Did that come up at any point? Was that kind of like? Did you have to fight for that chance? Um, no, that helped right. because um, I believe that one of the Americans, one of the American team, came to see Jamie when they were over here, and I think that kind of like kind of started the the ball rolling I, I believe yeah. that's what happened but yeah no I think they are similar roles but they're also very different yeah, roles. Yeah, yeah. like um they're different kind of mums they're different yeah. kind of mums definitely and, and different kind of personalities and Heidi's a bit more you know high high uh, energy than Margaret where Margaret's just kind of like this laid back um character but yeah, I mean, they're both single parents <laughs> to, a son, yeah. to a son who's different. I mean, That's he's amazing. very similar. Isn't it? What, what, what's going to come next? I don't know. I, there'll, there'll be another one that's exactly the same that I could do next. But no, um, it, I, I didn't think that I was going to get it either, if I'm honest yeah. with you. Um, but I did. Well, you but did. I did. <laughs> how did it work? Because did you, you rehearsed in America? No, we only rehearsed for a week in New right. York. Yeah, yeah. So I took a week off Jamie to do that. Uh -huh. And then I came back and I had a week left in Jamie. And then um, I we had rehearsals and then I left Jamie. So I was off doing Evan Hansen then after that. I mean, I, if I told my 20 year old self that I was going to just job hop for a start, yeah. because job hopping like is just I, I, it's not real. I hadn't done it. And then job hopping from that job to that job. It's beyond my wildest dreams. And I was just so grateful. So, so grateful for both jobs. I, I'm, I'm, it's making me emotional now because I'm missing it. But yeah, yeah. I was so grateful to be, to, to, be, to be doing what I absolutely love and getting paid for it. I mean, living the dream, living the dream. Yeah. And I, I thought both were going into like established shows. Like, so... Was that, did you feel a responsibility? Was it helpful to see other people do it and then put your... Yeah, I up? mean, um, in in different ways, the, the responsibility was there. With um, with Jamie, because, I, I mean, as I said, Josie, I mean, I learned a lot from Josie. She's yeah. a she's an idol of mine, or like, you know, had been before Jamie, but I think she's amazing. I think she's an amazing actress. So, you know, obviously some of her you know uh, expertise I gained from osmosis um but because I've been going on doing it as an understudy anyway and kind of finding my own way to then take over the role I kind of already had my my grounding for what I was doing in it and then I um I could then just work on that when I got the part I could like just you know fine-tune that um with with Evan Hansen I we all felt a little bit of pressure yeah. not in a bad way but because it had been so well received <clears throat> in Broadway and you know there was a lot of hype around it there was a lot a lot of hype around it coming here and you know so yeah there was a bit of like oh god I've really got to bring it I've got to bring it I've got to bring it but the team were really great the team were really great they didn't put pressure on us at all that 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 wasn't it but we I think I, I can't say for the other cast members, but I certainly was like, okay, God, you know, this is this is my A game all the way here. So, you, but it, it ended up being fine and, you know, being well received here as well. So, you know, it was great. Exactly. I'm going to talk about Sam Tutti because he is 
a dreamboat. It's a dream. I love him. Oh, he's so lovely. He is so. Have you kept in touch during lockdown? Yeah, yeah, we've been. Um, not in the last couple of months, actually. We've got a WhatsApp group, obviously. Yeah. We've got a, a dear ever handsome WhatsApp group. Um, but I try and like keep up with everything that he's doing. Um, we all saw each other. Um, I think like November time, maybe right. November, December. Um, and it was so lovely to see everyone. Um, but I try and keep up. I'm not on Instagram anymore because I'm a little bit of a detox. So um, I'm not like Fair seeing enough. what they're doing as much. I think that's why I feel like I haven't spoken to them. But um, I try and keep up with with what they're all up to because, yeah. you know, I, I love that whole cast. And um, I watched the Sunday at the Musicals thing that, that they did and Nicole was on that as well. Have you ever felt like nobody was there? Have you ever felt forgotten in the middle of nowhere? Have you ever felt like you could disappear? Like you could fall and no one would hear? So um, it was lovely to watch that, but really miss that cast. Yeah. Really, yeah. But yeah, hopefully, you know, it, we we get a little uh, WhatsApp from people every now and then, and we're still in contact. So it's just a matter of time before we will see each other again, I suppose. And when it came to the Olivier's, because obviously so many of you were up for one, and obviously Sam won his, and then the show yeah. won. Yeah, but, I mean, my heart went out of you because, like, I love those ceremonies. They're always brilliant nights. I'm thinking, I know. Take it away from you, such a shame. I know, and so I was there with Jamie. Yeah, and we didn't win. We didn't win best new show, and just to have been there with Evan Hansen and to have won as well, like, and that party that they have afterwards. I, I don't know what it would have been this year, but it was at the museum. Yeah. It was at the National the museum when we went that's like, I mean what a party it was brilliant it was incredible so we, we we were all together on our whatsapp group that night watching right. and stuff so um, Sam had obviously know. already collected his and filmed it did he yeah. get on with you guys no he didn't he didn't actually he was very good but <laughs> I, I knew I knew <laughs> I knew he was going to win. I mean, he's just, he's amazing. Yeah, I mean, uh, he that was so well-deserved. That that um, Olivier was so well-deserved and I was so, so happy for him. And the thing is about Sam is he's he's such a nice person. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You just want him to have everything because he deserves that because he's so nice. And me and Sam go on, um, went on a lot of interviews together, like when yeah. the show was starting up. And so me and him spent a lot of time and we just, we're hilarious. Cause like neither of us know what we're doing. <laughs> we're just like, <laughs> just going, I don't know, I don't know, you do it, you do it. But we always have such a funny time when we're doing things like that. So hopefully we'll be get back to doing it soon. Yeah, so they've not announced yet when you're coming back, but... No, we don't know, no. no. You're, you're going to go back, aren't you? You're not going to be like... Mm -hmm. trust, yeah. <laughs> Hopefully. I mean, we got to do six months, which, you know, yeah. I'd quite like to get back and do some more. You know, I'm I'm, I'm, I'm ready to, like, get back into Heidi's shoes, really, and, and, um, and, and get that back on. And I think the fans will probably be ready to come back as well. Yeah, absolutely. So... We'll just have to wait and see. It's all happening now, isn't it? Things are opening up and so we'll have to wait and wait for our uh, announcement. Have you been down past the theatre since at all this? Yeah, you, I was there actually. I was in Covent Garden on uh, last Sunday. Because you put all and tables always... and chairs outside. That... Hilarious, I know. But what, what a view. They've got the best table in the house there, <laughs> right next to... Not right next to our faces. <laughs> Can you I really say, wanted just to go to that pub just so I could yeah. sit there, but oh, I thought, sure. oh, no, best not, best not, best not. But at least our pictures are still up. They're still up. That's that's yeah. one. Thing. <laughs> yeah. So I always, when I'm in town, I always walk past and go, okay, it's fine. <laughs> I'm still there. <laughs> I'm still there. <laughs> oh. And again, that's another one that's got a movie adaptation in the works. Yeah, it has. Yeah, so how I do was, you think that's going to turn out? I was out? like, I was putting it out to the universe because I, um, Julianne Moore's playing Heidi, yeah. and I was like, I love her. I was like, I wonder if, um, in the movie, she Heidi might have a sister, um, <laughs> that you know she confides in or something. <laughs> you yeah. know, just, 
No, I, I thought about suggesting it to, to the guys, but exactly. I haven't. Done that. Just get Pasta <laughs> Paul on the case, get them to write it in. <laughs> and she has a tiny little song, of course, yeah, as yeah. well. Yeah, well, yeah. yeah. Maybe a duet, a duet with Julianne Moore. That would be great. <laughs> She's a stunning actress, like you say. Oh, God, I can't wait to see what she does with it. I can't wait. I can't wait. That was, for me, brilliant casting. I think that's in, in, fantastic. And uh, yeah, I can't wait to see the, the movie. I love I love film adaptations of movies, uh, film of musicals. I do. You, you did uh, Beauty and the Beast, didn't you? I did. Yeah, I did. Film star. <laughs> oh How god! That? That I spent a lot of time on film sets, and they are brilliant, aren't they? You're yeah. Just, oh, you look you know, after. I would do it every day if I could get me yeah. on those sets. I would do it every day. Yeah, there's food 24-7. You know, there's food. They look after you. You're going to make up. The only thing is with Beauty and the Beast, we were filming on, like, the hottest day, the, the four hottest days of, like, ever. Yeah. And um, we were all wearing, like, bonnets and, like, cors corsets and things like that. So that was pretty hard going. But you can't complain on a TV and film set. You can't. It's fun, especially when it's, like, run by Disney because you looked after so well. I'll have another one of them as well. Thanks, Universe. <laughs> <laughs> Put it out there. <laughs> did, you, did you do anything on the Mamma Mia films? No, I didn't. I didn't, unfortunately. I went to see it. We got. I got invited to the premiere. So, you know, that's something. Yeah, no, I, I went to see it with my mum. But no, I wasn't in it, unfortunately. When you, been... you, you did the show, was it when it was still at the Prince of... I did it, first of all, when it was at Prince of Wales. Yeah. In 2004, I think, was my first time covering Donna, Tanya and yeah. um, and uh, Rosie. And then I did it in 2017, I think, 16 or 17, covering Rosie, Tanya and Donna. <laughs> oh, did you take them all off? Did you get to do each one? Yeah, yeah. I did. I, I think, if I remember rightly, I, I, I did either in one week or two weeks, did all three. So yeah, wow. yeah. Another one where it's just it's really cool to like understudy um roles like that because they're all great roles. And it when you are understudying, it I mean, obviously I love having a part because you can really get your teeth into it and you know it's yours. But the you know, on the on the flip side, understudying's fun because it keeps it different and you know, doing different that, things. That is such a skill to flip from one character to the next. You just end up knowing the whole show. Yeah. You just have to do the whole show and like you can like do it like a... a and how you don't drop other people's lines out by accident. Yeah, that does happen. Especially, <laughs> I, I've been I've been a swing before and I've definitely been standing in like someone else's place just going, sorry. <laughs> I was a terrible it's swing. Been push you out of the way. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah, no, I would never, ever be a swing again. No, I wasn't good. I wasn't good as a swing. It's not in my, it's not in my nature. <laughs> I love that show. It is a guilty, guilty pleasure of mine. Yeah, it's this great. It's great fun to be in. It is great fun to be in. And I've, I was brought up on ABBA, so yeah. Especially the first time I got it, I was like over the moon, and I was living, living my best life. I was twenty four years old, you know, like in a in an amazing show. It, and they again, that that company really look after you. Yeah, they're they're a really good company. So uh, and they're loyal. So yeah, I I, I love Mamma Mia. It's a guilty pleasure of mine as well. I think the show's great. I think I it's do. really feel good and, you know, is what it is. And the music's fantastic. And then, I mean, I have to ask, because I'm a massive Spice Girls fan. <laughs> oh, no! And I've Viva Forever. <laughs> Let's just. Yeah, it was great. Yeah. So, what about Amazing. it? Amazing. 
You were brilliant. I, it I was, was brilliant. <laughs> Do you know what, though? <laughs> <laughs> With all the bad hype, uh, you know, and, and being in it, I I thought it was I thought it was brilliant. <laughs> we 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 were actually quite shocked at the um at the reviews when they came yeah. out because it's different when you're in something because you're in it yeah. you don't know you don't know what what's going on because you're did in you, it. Did you get any sense of it? Do you think? Because I mean, it was so built. Yeah. I think because obviously it was written by Jennifer Saunders. Obviously, yeah. it was on the back of Mamma Mia, which did so well. So I think there was a lot of expectation. And then, it, it... Uh, but maybe that's the problem. Was it as crap as everyone thought it was? Did yeah. you see it? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> like, oh, I, I am a massive Spice Girl fan, so I was living for all those songs. Oh, something didn't. And I love Ab Fab, so like, and Jennifer Saunders. So, like, but what? So, you tell me, what was it about it that was so terrible? I don't know. I think I've just like etched it from my memory, but um. I mean, because the, the, the thing is, there was great people in it as well, yeah. like great actors, Incredible. and you know. So I, I, I don't know what happened there. Um, maybe they should revive it. We'll have a look again. You know, hilariously, maybe I shouldn't say. <laughs> maybe I shouldn't say this. I never know what to say or not. But um, <laughs> I met up? Jerry. I met Jerry Halliwell when she came. Because she came to see Dear Evan, didn't she? Dear Evan Hansley, yeah. And I was like, oh hi, I was in, I was in fever forever. And she was like, oh sorry. <laughs> she was so lovely. But uh, but honestly, I I didn't think fever was as bad as as people made out. Being again, being in it, like, and the, especially the part that I was understudying, Sally Ann's part, Sally Ann Triplets. Um, the mum I I thought that was a lovely part and really enjoyed <laughs> playing it and I think it was you know fun and I think the the dancing was great I, I, I don't know I don't know why it didn't work it's such a shame because we all you know we all love the Spice Girls we all wanted it to be amazing and it was I tell you what I had the best time in it because it was my first job back after having a baby yeah. and I had four years out and I was ah. really ready to be back on stage. So I didn't care if it was shit. <laughs> I was having I was having a lovely time singing and dancing to the Spice Girls and getting paid. And I didn't care. <laughs> there you go. So they came to watch it on press night. So did you Oh yeah, them? yeah, 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 yeah. They were all there. The party, for, I mean the party alone, yeah. the press night party for Viva Forever was worth the whole job. <laughs> because they basically put a marquee over Embankment Gardens. Love they it. put a marquee over it. There was chocolate fount ice sculptures. I mean, there was no expense said. And there was five Spice Girls there. Yeah. The five of them were there. And um, and David Beckham, obviously. So, you know, what Delicious. more could you want at a party? <laughs> <laughs> what more could you want? No, bless. Uh, I know. It maybe it'll come back. You never know. I they did rewrite start... it after we got yeah. after we got our um, reviews. They maybe rewrote it. Start a campaign. <laughs> okay, <laughs> <laughs> I'll leave it to you. <laughs> Being a, a single mum, there's so much that resonates with me that, um, like, it was it was a, a place. It was like therapy. Album. Oh my god, I'm I'm so old. I just said album. He has my favourite voice of all time. I believe that that song is one of the best written um, musical theatre songs for women. Oh, it's making me really want to go back to work now. Later this year, I will be running the London Marathon to raise money for the Terence Higgins Trust, the UK's leading HIV and sexual health charity. And I would really appreciate your help. If you would like to sponsor me, you can donate now at justgiving.com forward slash fundraising forward slash that stagey blog. Check out my new range of that stagey blog branded clothing, including hoodies and t-shirts from £14. Available now at thatstagyblog.tmill.com. Another show that did well and did come back is, well, I think it was on tour recently. We were rock you. We, we, do you know what? I, t- <laughs> I was listening to the, uh, the album, the album. Oh my God, I'm, I'm so old. I just said album. Uh, the, the EP. I was, I, was listening, I was listening to the record uh, <laughs> on the record player the other day. <laughs> and, um, yeah. 
one uh, it was Radio Gaga came on and I was like oh wonder if I still remember like all that those stuff no not a clue really? I, I, I don't know where to start and it was all like arms and everything not a clue yeah, not a clue. yeah that was a fun show to be in yeah that was a fun show to, I mean it's loud and that's what I liked about it it's loud and the music was great and it was buzzing and it made no sense <laughs> it made no sense but again it doesn't matter we were having a lovely time <laughs> Queen songs. It was stunning. It's a spectacle. Oh my Absolutely. god! Yeah, and the music. The thing with that is yeah. that Queen music is so good. Even if you were just and and the, the singers we had in it. I mean, Ricardo was our Galileo. Like. I mean, he's he has my favorite voice of all time of yeah. any blood. His voice is insane. Um, so just like I people would pay to come and see him singing those songs alone. Do you know what I mean? Yeah. And and Maz as as um Killer Queen, you know, it was it was a spectacle, like you say. It was a spectacle and it was fun. fun. You, covered, you covered Killer Queen, didn't you? I did, yeah. Did you get to go on a lot or much? Or? Yeah, yeah, I did. I went on quite a, a bit for Killer Queen. Yeah, it was fun. That was a really fun time. I mean, I've covered Maz twice now. Um because nice. I was cover Tanya in Mamma Mia yeah. just recently and then I covered her and I love Maz Murray. I love Maz Incredible. Murray. Yeah, she's so cool. Um but yeah, We Were Rock You was it feels like such a long time ago now. I guess it was, wasn't it? Ten yeah, years. It was, uh, yeah. Ten years ago, I did it. Oh, oh, oh. God, where's the time gone? <laughs> <laughs> when was Late Miz? So you did a, did you, was it the 25th? Yeah, okay. that was after, that was after We Were Rocky. So I suddenly, after like, basically having nodules <laughs> from like trying to, trying to sing like Maz Murray and trying to sing Queen songs every <laughs> night, I had to like suddenly go, <laughs> and, and get my, and get my legit voice on. Um <laughs> That was fun. That was a really fun show uh, job, actually. It was a tour, but we did six months um, and I was pregnant. So basically I got I got pregnant like um, right at the beginning. Wow. So and then I didn't leave until I was seven months pregnant because because um, I was like they could like they took me out of the, the ballroom scene or whatever. And so then I was just like literally this this pregnant whore and a, a pregnant person on the barricade. But it was brilliant to get to work yeah, a couple of months. Yeah. And um, yeah, no, I loved that job. But there's Although, something about a pregnant woman's voice. Because I've seen, I've seen both Rachel Tucker and Kerry Ellis. And their voices during their pregnancies were incredible. Really? Yeah. I think there's something happens that... Well, well, I'll tell you what happens. You stop all, you stop drinking. You see, you're, like, you're literally the healthiest you've ever been in your life because you can't do anything. So maybe Fair that's enough. what it is. And you keep Fair yourself enough. hydrated, you know. Oh, that's that's interesting. I don't remember mine being amazing. <laughs> I'm sure it was. I don't think I was doing much singing by the end of that show. I think they were just like, all right, you just sit on the barricade this time. <laughs> don't move <laughs> unless you go into labour or something. But no, that was a fun, that was a fun show. And it, like, it was one I wanted to cross off. You know, it's one that you want to cross off the list to do. Did you back in the day do an open audition for it? You've been talking to, yeah, I did. I um, <clears throat> what an achievement! What a like to like go full circle oh, and be like. This is what I keep saying. Like, whenever I'm feeling like complacent about anything, yeah. I go tell your 20 year old self who's at college what you what you've done, where you've been. Like, you know, yeah. tell that person because we forget like to like go God and uh, stop and appreciate like where we've come yeah. and like it's not, I'm not I'm not I'm not I'm not an A-list celebrity but I've achieved things that I wanted to achieve and it's like if you really stop and think about it it's really cool it's really cool but yeah I I, I did an open audition for it I mean it didn't go well clearly didn't get it <laughs> you got it 10 years later <laughs> yeah got it 10 years later I mean and no in fact I auditioned for Les Mis probably every year um before that and, and never got it and it's the same with We Were Rocky I auditioned for that um 
I, the first time round when it when it was first out I remember it was the, the new this new show that was like and it was one of the first jukebox musicals and I was like I was down for it or whatever but um I was always auditioning for Scaramouche and uh, so after that I every year I was in Scaramouche and then as soon as I got to be a bit older and I um I was auditioning for covering Killer Queen that's when I got it <laughs> so obviously I was just old I was never meant to be a young person. I've never played the young leads. <laughs> was Lucy Jones in your cast? Am I right? No. In 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 what? In Name Is? Things. No, no, no. She um so who did we have? Um no, I mean, she might have done the concert that was at right. the O2. Yes. So yeah. <clears throat> that was the 25th con- anniversary concert was you did um both. I did, yeah, but like in the ensemble in the concert. Um, but um, yeah, there was a different cast for the, the actual concert. Yeah, there was like a big star cast, and then our cast was kind of involved in it, but not um, but not like the main the main characters. But um, again, like some of the talent that that I've yeah. seen in that, like John Owen Jones is another voice that I just wow, like his voice and and just sitting on the barricade listening to his, hear him listening to him singing "Bring Him Home" every night. It's so you can't you wouldn't you, you could pay for that do you know what I mean and like Molly in my tummy like moving around and I, sometimes I go do you know this song do you know this song from Les Mis she's like no <laughs> so it obviously didn't work I thought it might like you know lull her to sleep but no that's what I want to ask about both Jamie and Dear Ever because those songs that you sang as those parts are so iconic now and like do you feel that from the audience as you're performing them that kind of the response I think Sam's mentioned like this audible gasps and you can feel the engagement yeah yeah I mean I mean starting with Jamie like that I I believe that that song is one of the best written um, musical theatre songs for women like uh, of all time of all time he's My pain, he's my boy Believe me, he don't make it easy He'll own me until he's outgrown me But still, he's my boy He's my boy Yeah, it's a marathon song and and uh, and it's a it's a good song and it's an emotive song. I just absolutely relished every night singing that song, not because I was enjoying it, but because because I knew that the that I, that it was doing something to the audience. You know what I mean? Because people could resonate with it. People were going, well, "Yeah, I do feel like that about my son," or "Oh, my mum feels like that about me." And I literally. Oh, I'm getting like goosebumps thinking about it, but I could feel that off the audience. That sounds so wanky, but I could, I could feel them like, and then especially in um in Jamie at the end of, of He's My Boy, there's a bit at the end where I have to go quiet and you can hear, you could just hear like, people <laughs> <laughs> sniffing. I mean, sometimes they're really loud, like, oh. um, but it, it feels so lovely to be able to have moved anybody let alone a whole audience, to, to anything, to make them laugh, to make them cry, to make them feel something is so, such a nice um, feeling. And it's the same with um, with Heidi and that song. I mean, <laughs> I know that song is literally like, oh, but it comes after Evan's song, a sad song. But again, I, what I say about that song is that, do you know why that song, I love it so much? Because I could release my, what I've been, holding in inside when I sing that song and that was my place to get it out like because they you know there's so much being a a single mum there's so much that resonates with me that um like it was it was a a place it was like therapy yeah that song for me it was like therapy and um I just thought and what another beautiful beautiful song so big so small like God, those guys can write music. Those guys can write music. I bow down to them. 
Um, so again, and again, like me and Sam can hear the, the sniffs because they've already started going at the end of Sam's song. And then, then they wheel me on, <laughs> on a chair going, oh, yeah. And then like, oh, there's some more tears. And no, but it is, again, it's just so nice to, to be able to move people to anything and to be able to make people think and like uh, and um uh appreciate what they have and like their relationship with their mum for instance or their relationship with their their kid it's it's brilliant oh it's making me really want to go back to work now <laughs> and I did wonder like how how about self-care like because obviously you're carrying all those emotions around and you don't want to drop the ball so you you kind of you 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 do shoulder them but then how do you look after yourself um well I guess you just got to let it go yeah at the yeah you know it, it, after you've done it uh, uh for a, a few shows you know once you're into like six months it's easier to let go yeah um and like I say you get it out there that's that's your outlet and that was that's how I did it basically yeah. for me is that you know I could be I could be go ooh, 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 off stage before I go on and but then when I'm there I'm like it, it it's in my body and like I'm feeling it and letting it out and then when I come off I'm I'm crying but I'm going ooh, 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 again you know like making the backstage laugh but so you just can't I, I just kind of have to you just have to like <clears throat> bring it all on stage and then let it go I suppose when you come but you know not everyone's going through well, most people are going through shit, but like not everyone's going through stuff that they need to get out as much as much as I do. <laughs> I'm mad. No, um, but for me, that's how that's that really helped me, and I just I was really appreciative of of that time to kind of let those feelings. And again, good for you as well, in a, in a different way, like to let out different emotions. You know, like anger or um, frustration. It's just. Uh, any kind of acting is an outlet for me I think it's good like therapy everyone should be an actor <laughs> don't say that because I'll be coming for your job no 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 well I'll start I know I've got a, got a good idea I'm going to start acting therapy that's going to be my new lockdown my new lockdown innovation acting therapy anyone just act it out you'll be fine <laughs> <laughs> well you have been quite busy during lockdown you, what was the show that you did recently at St Hans St oh. Anne Comes Home it's a skill to keep on track you have to move and don't look back you don't know how you're supposed to feel on sunday morning say that it's a place you know the joy is really real when i can't quite cope with it all when i'm thinking hard about the next place to roam then oh so the music's so good so I love like folk music folky music yeah and um Jack Miles has written a folk musical and Bridget the character I was playing is Scottish and I'm Scottish don't know if you know that but I don't sound it but I am Scottish so it was a nice chance to like get my old Scottish accent out again and do that so that was good. And the music, mwah, mwah, Jack Miles is a genius. Like, just for me, his, his music is like folk music and like, like Scottishy and, and, but mixed with musical theatre. It's lovely, lovely. And you managed to put it on last summer? Yeah, outside. Yeah. How was that? It, like, come out of the wilderness good. and do some work? It was good. It was really, I was just talking to my friend about it today. It was really good. It was, I felt lucky. I felt lucky to be doing something um, and something new and different as well. So I just and it was only a week and, you know, it was outside. So we were battling with the elements and helicopters and riots at one point. <laughs> so outdoors, not ideal, but we made it work and people would the audience were happy to be there because, you know, there wasn't much going on at that point. And um, he, the guys did a really good job. I, I think a lot. We, we've seen a lot of um, innovation from producers and yeah. from writers. And I, I think it's been great over lockdown to see what people have kind of pulled out of the bag. I think it's been brilliant. Yeah. I did a Zoom horror as well. I did a horror that was a, like a live Zoom play. Was it you? Was did you do it? Who did huh? it? Who did it? Was it you? Was it, no, oh, it, was, it, was, it was I was I was quite evil, but I didn't do it. 
<laughs> but that was really good fun as well something that you'd never do so it has been like I said time to reflect time to look inward time to like you know yeah. do new things and stuff you've got to take the positive out of what's gone on in the last year because otherwise you just sink you've got to kind of like keep floating and then St Anne's comes up so you were supposed to do it again but you've now filmed it to release mm. oh, now where, where are you getting your information from <laughs> Wasn't it rescheduled to do? From? I love it. Oh no, you saw it on Twitter. I see. No, no, we haven't filmed it. No, no, no. Um, I was, I was just filming like a song from it for like some pro, a promo. But they don't know. We don't know whether um, because it was supposed to be going on in May. Um, and was it May? No, it was um supposed to be going on in February originally, yeah. and uh, obviously it's got pushed back. So I don't know now. You know, I don't know what's going to happen with it, and when it, they're going to put it on, and and whether I don't know whether I'll be able to do it now or not. Hopefully, I will. So it was you know amazing, but it might be that I'm I might be back at work, so we'll just have to wait and see about that one. But it is great. But they don't know. We don't know whether um because it was supposed to be going on in May, um and was it may no it was um supposed to be going on in february originally yeah. and uh, obviously it's got pushed back so i don't know now you know i don't know what's going to happen with it and when it, they're going to put it on and, and whether i don't know whether i'll be able to do it now or not hopefully i will so it was you know amazing but it might be that i'm i might be back at work so we'll just have to wait and see about that one but it is great i saw announced today that they're, they're doing a Outdoor version of Mamma Mia. Mamma Mia, I saw that too. Uh, that'd be that nice. Leeds. Oh, the, yeah, is it up in Leeds? Yeah, in yeah. A or something. <clears throat> oh, that'll be that'll be um nice and camp, won't it? Oh, that'll be yeah. good. Maybe I should take Molly to see that. She'd like it. She loves Mamma Mia, Molly. Well, I think <laughs> yeah, get- that's great. That's what I mean. I mean, let's pray for a good summer though. Yeah. This summer. I mean, it was a good summer last year, but <clears throat> the thing about outdoor, I've done outdoor. Um, theatre before I did a, a like Shakespeare round Kent when I was like 25 and the thing about outdoor theatre is if it's sunny it's beautiful <laughs> and if it's raining it ain't that much fun it's not that much fun when it's raining yeah. so you if you're doing outdoor theatre you've got to really hope for a good summer fingers crossed for this summer because there's going to be a lot of outdoor stuff going on isn't there yeah I think so have you been to see anything recently well, I, I, came, lot, I came back lot lot. I moved up to Cumbria and then I came down <laughs> for a little bit in August and then back again in December. I managed to see the new version of Jamie. Incredible. You've, you've seen it? Yeah, I saw it just, I caught it just as it opened in December. So what's it like? So is it socially distanced on stage? Uh, yeah, and they tie in, they, some of them, they, they've rewritten bits. Like, I know the like kids masks. were wearing masks. Yeah, that's and cool. It's really, that's good. It, kind of, it gives all those nods to that as well. So oh, that's like, good. Updated. Um, and it's still a brilliant show. Oh, yeah, I know. I know. It's such a feel-good show. I'm definitely going to take Molly. Because because I love Shane as well. And Shane's back yeah. in it. Goes back in. I'm going to, definitely going to go and watch it and support them. Because I think... And I went to see um, the understudy <clears throat> at, um, that they put on at the Palace. Because I think Nick has done such a good job of like, you know, really championing getting back on stage. I want to support going to as many of her shows as I can. So I will. I, I want to go see Death Drop as well. I saw that. Oh, you did? Very, <laughs> ah, very capital of it. You will. Yeah, I know. I know. I've, I've got to. I've got, I'm going to do it this time. I'm going to go and see them all. I think this is the beauty. And, and until well, I the can. comes back, you've got all yeah, this I know. time. I know, absolutely. Again, like, when would I ever get the chance to go go out of an evening, let alone go to the theatre? So it's all got about finding the positives, isn't it? It's all about the positives in the lockdown. Ah. But you no. do, like, new writing, don't you? So you, you did In the Wings as well, which is all... Good. I did. Yeah, that was really good fun, actually. If I could have a wicker man Treat him well as well I can. We could work the market stall, he could help me ply the trade. And as evening starts to fall, we take stock of what we. Some work it need not. 
that was it was geez that was hard to learn something like six new songs yeah well, I think one of them two of them weren't new songs but they were new to me <laughs> so like that was a that was a lot of work to do but yeah again brilliant and and I I love new like new I've done a couple of workshops as well just things like that are just new and something that you're creating and something that hasn't been done before yeah. that you're not just like seeing somebody else sing in your head and the, like you're just interpreting yourself I think it's brilliant I want to do I want to do more workshops of new musicals and things like that that's where I really want to like go with musical theatre because I think that's where the magic is as well a lot of the magic is in that the first process of it, you know, the, the 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 getting it to the West End stage is like, it must just be incredible. So putting, that, putting it out there into the universe. I want to do more lo- workshops, thanks, universe. Now I'm asking the universe for all I want at the moment. So before, yeah. like, how long had you intended to stay with Dear Evan? Was it a show that you thought you'd just do for a year or two or...? I don't know. I hadn't. Re- we hadn't really had a chance to think about it. I did want to stay for uh, you know longer than we had the chance to. Yeah. Um, again, like as well, I'm 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 a mum and I need to make money and it's my job. So and it's a good job. But we you don't get much better jobs than that when you're someone my age. So you know, I would have liked to have stayed there for a while so, uh, you know it's, I guess you just see what happens don't you but they're such a lovely company and they look after you again you know you've got to just really count your blessings when you're in a show like that so and and you know it's it's easy to when when you're playing a part like I was playing yeah so and are there other roles out there that you kind of covered that you'd like to have a stab at one, one day when you're when you're old enough to be Mrs. Johnson, perhaps. There is, well, I mean, Mrs. Johnson was always my, yeah. like, it's always been my dream. I'm old enough now, 40. <laughs> I'm 40. Um, uh, Mrs. Johnson, now there is a new one that I'm doing out of the universe. Um, I have watched a bootleg version, naughty me, of um, the Alanis Morissette musical. Jagged Little Pill. Yeah. Jagged Little Pill. Holy moly. I mean, uh, that's an amazing part, that mum. She's enough, complex. Another jukebox musical, another mother. Another, she's not a single mum, though, but I probably won't get it. She's not a single mum. <laughs> <laughs> oh, she's married, for God's sake. <laughs> no, but it, I, I love Alanis Morissette anyway. Uh, like, the music is, like, I've always loved her. So, uh, yeah, I liked it. I liked it. And that part especially was great. So, yeah, that, that's one I liked. Those, those songs lend themselves. To storytelling. Yeah. Yeah, exactly. Exactly. Although pretty hard to sing. Because mm-hmm. yeah. she, she's got a voice, says old Alanis Morris. She's got a voice. Uh, there'd be a lot of acting through song there for me, probably. <laughs> uh, no, she is... Um, she's an amazing singer an amazing songwriter so yeah there is that and i'd also like to do um more tv that's yeah. what i want to do. i want to be a detective i'm watching marcella at the moment and i want to be basically i want to be marcella i or, love her frail. she's oh my god so she's amazing she's amazing marcella or olivia coleman from broadchurch yeah. something along those lines you know that's where, that's where i'm going next are you passed with jonathan bailey I know him. I do know him. Yeah, I do know him. Yeah, he's lovely. I just get him to get you a part of Bridgerton next. Oh, oh yeah, that's not a bad idea, is it? <laughs> um, no, I, would, it. I do. I really want to. I, I've been watching so much. I've always wanted to do TV. But I like, again, I've never had the chance to like sit around watching TV like I have recently. Yeah. And the more and more I watch and learn and just watch brilliant people, I'm just like, I want to do that. I want to do that. <laughs> I, said, I want to be like her. I want to be like her. Like, you know, Olivia Coleman, Nicola Walker's another favourite. Do you know who Nicola Walker yes, is? Yes, yeah. I love her. I okay. literally love her. Like, just been studying all those great actresses she, while you I've did been. the split, didn't she? Yeah, the split's brilliant. The split's brilliant. Oh, so all good. three all three of those sisters in that are brilliant, actually. Yeah. And the mother. Like, all... And the mum, and the mum. Oh, it's such a good... I think there's a new series, by the way. I hope I'm so. Excited. I'm going to go and look on Netflix in a minute. <laughs> it's Friday night. Woo! But like, what else have you been watching? Yeah. I mean, obviously Tiger King. 
Tiger King, that was right at the beginning. Yeah, got that one over and done with. What else have I been watching? Oh, God, you know what I've been watching? This is my guilty pleasure. And I will admit to the fact that my 10-year-old daughter and I are both addicted to Housewives of Beverly Hills. Ooh, okay. Oh, God. Oh, I just, I'm obsessed. I'm obsessed with it. Like, I, I, I literally am obsessed. I want that lifestyle. <laughs> I don't necessarily want to be like them, but I want to live in Beverly Hills one day because the sky is so pretty. I want a house in Beverly Hills with an infinity pool overlooking the Hollywood Hills and seeing that sunset. That's my dream. Yeah, yeah I'll do it. And I'll have a bit of plastic surgery, but not too much. Don't. Like, I'm, a- I'm just going to get a moment now. <laughs> a conversation about RuPaul apparently because in this series she keeps coming out into the workroom with like wigs and stuff and apparently that is because she's had a few... she's had a thing oh well I wouldn't to... say no to that I'd be... right. oh, I need to have a look I haven't watched this series do you mean the UK one yeah 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 I'll have to have a gander at it actually I've seen one I've seen the Bing Bang Bong song that's basically what I've seen, but I need to have a look. Oh, that's interesting. Well, there was a great episode last night. It was all about EastEnders. Oh, really? Yeah, oh, were yeah. they not acting in EastEnders? Yeah, they it? did like I a, love that. EastEnders. Oh, I love it. Booth. And is, is Michelle doing it? Michelle Visage is doing it. Yeah. yeah. Oh, yeah. Oh, oh. yeah I love her. I love her. Work together? Was that? Yeah, 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 yeah. She's, again, like, such a strong, powerful woman. I was just literally in awe of her. I just yeah. wanted to be a but kind, such a kind woman as well. She like, really, oh, so down to work, so down to earth, yeah. so down to earth, funny, kind, really great um, member of a, of, a, of a company as well. Yeah. yeah, no, she's lovely, really nice. But yeah, and, and obviously um, Bianca was in it. So that's the only, the only time I ever watched um, Drag Race and I hadn't watched any of it when I met Michelle, I felt really bad. But when um, Roy was in uh, Jamie, I was like, okay. And I watched that series. And then I was like, okay, I'm hooked. <laughs> and I watched every series after that. So I mean, I've done the, and I done, the did the UK last year, but I need to get onto the UK one this year. Yeah. Well, look, you, could Finnegan was in it. So did you not watch it? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah. I watched last year's. Yeah. Oh, I watched right. last year. Yeah. It's just this one I need to get. No, uh, Mo- me and Molly loved last year's. Bag of chips and all that lot. So yeah, we'll get into the you had Prince William and Kate come to watch you, didn't you? Let's move, move on. <laughs> Let's move they, they must have told you at the beginning that they were coming. Yeah, they did. That oh yeah, we knew they were coming. They right. had to. Um, I think they had to like sh- like check the building or something. We were. I'm, I know we weren't allowed into our dressing rooms. Yeah. Um, on that day, and um, yeah, we knew they were coming. Yeah, because I had to um, do a speech after the after the show that night, and I remember I was I didn't care about the show. I was like, yeah, I'm quite nervous about the show, but I I, I was literally like shaking like a leaf doing a speech because doing something as yourself is so different to like yeah. doing a character. Do you know what I mean? Going hello everyone, blah, 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 blah. that's I'm, I'm not good at that. I'm not good at that, but yeah, give me a character. But yes, we did know they were coming. We did indeed know they were coming. It was oh, a big deal. Would you ever do something like The Voice where you have to be yourself? And I I, I, I auditioned for The Voice once and I didn't get past the first round, like a long time ago. Um, I, would, I, I wouldn't do well in it anyway, because right. I'm... <laughs> Because because I just do better when I'm I'm a, when I can hide behind a character. Yeah. <laughs> Basically, I mean, I might do better at things like that now. I think I'm a, I'm more confident in myself now than I I was before. But I didn't have a lot of you know confidence in just me. I had confidence in the fact that I could act, but like just being me, I'm quite I'm quite shy. Would you believe I'm quite shy? Man. You know, I am actually quite shy. Sorry, so, I'm uh, laughing because you've just quoted the sound of music. <laughs> I have confidence in sunshine. I... There you go, that's my next role. Well, Very you've fun. done it. You've done sound of music. I have. Oh, I did the one on telly, yeah. Oh, just, just the one that went... Bandy. I was a nun. I was a nun. That's so funny. Hey. That was the funniest job ever. That must have been the most challenging role you've ever played. <laughs> Running around in nuns' outfits, just going and swearing like troopers and like just like, oh, 
Oh, it was such fantastic. Fun. And it's that like we, was such we, I know America have done a lot of them, but the UK only, they've only done this. Oh, so. no, they, oh yeah, but they did The Grinch this year, no? But that oh, wasn't, again, wasn't they live. Was NBC, it was just filmed in the UK. Yeah, right. That was live, that Sound of Music one, yeah. wasn't it? Yeah, no, it was, it was really scary doing things. Yeah. We had candles and everything. I was like, God, can you imagine if I like just drop this candle and the whole thing goes up or whatever? But yeah, I'd love to do another one of them. That was such good fun. It was brilliant. And such a stellar cast as well. Maria oh, Cara, brilliant. She was, Cara Tointum was brilliant as Maria. Yeah. I thought. Yeah. Brilliant. And there were some legends in that cast. There were some legends. I've worked with loads of legends. I'm really lucky. You are a legend. <laughs> oh, bless you. I'm not a legend. But it's nice to work with legends. Yeah. Because Julian Overdon, wasn't it? Yes. Yes, it was. So handsome. So handsome. So handsome. <laughs> so handsome. <laughs> I can't even talk about it. So handsome. Exactly. Yeah. But, yeah. but yeah, I wish it, cause they occasionally show it every year and then they'll show the like, making of They do. I, well, every now and then they get a little royalty. <laughs> A little, a little royalty payment of like one pound oh. fifty or something. <laughs> no, it is, it is nice. It's like it's the same with Beauty and the Beast. Every now and then, it's like the gift that keeps giving. You get like just you know like a little tiny bit of money every like six months, whatever that you haven't done anything for that year. So you're like, oh, yeah. thanks. That's a good. Th- that's another reason why I want to do film and TV. <laughs> I did a McDonald's advert, and for years I got royalties. And then I was going to yeah. say, geez, you must have been paid a fortune for that. Yeah, but they don't do that now. They they do deals now, so like you just kind of get a f- set fee, a buyout. Yeah, yeah, a buyout. But, but I bet the but for a McDonald's advert, the the buyout would be good. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Oh, that's what everyone needs in their life. What did you have to do? I had a f- football. <laughs> it was like this Sunday league football thing, and the, we were on the pitch playing Sunday league football, and then an American football team invaded the pitch, and we had to react oh. to it. Oh I mean, my I god! Never played football in my life. It was. The worst audition I've ever done is when I lied to my agent and said that I could play cricket. Oh, no. Why would you do know. that? Because you wanted the job. <laughs> no, I just wanted it a bit like rounders. You just, ah. you just hit the ball, right? Ah. Could not do it. What? And the guy there... Did you get the job? Well, of course I did. I couldn't even hit oh. the ball. Like, they were throwing it at me. It's like, which, do, you, do you want it overarm, under? I was like, uh-uh. <laughs> That reminds me. I mean, I've got horse riding on my CV. I mean, I've ridden horses in my time, but I don't know if I, I'm an equestrian person. Have you seen Call My Agent? Yes, yeah. That's yeah. So right. You just reminded me of that when you said that you, that you had things on your CV that you couldn't do. I yeah, love that. Do, really. That's been another one that I've been watching. It's brilliant, isn't it? Yeah, I wouldn't lie again about something like that. Cause I was just like, no. I no. I, 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 I say no, but I probably would. <laughs> Job. And everybody was like wearing like cricket attire, and I was there like an Abercrombie jumper, thinking, <laughs> "Well, oh, yeah, I got this. I got this." Oh dear! Oh bl- no, there's nothing. I mean, that sounds a bit like um, the first ten years of my career when my agent would send me to dance auditions, <laughs> and I'd be like, I'd, I'd walk in, and people were like, "Woo!" And, <laughs> and, and I'd just like. Okay, right. At the back, like that, laughing with my whoever was there who I knew. <laughs> laughing at that guy. And then just like, go, hey, sorry, can I leave? <laughs> can I leave? I don't, honestly, dance auditions for me, no, just no. I'm a singer who moves. A singer who moves, you know. <laughs> what are you? What do you class yourself as? I don't even know anymore. And I'm just <laughs> I don't even know. Just given up. No, you just do everything. Just say you do everything. Apart from play cricket. Apart from play cricket, yeah. I'm a non-cricket player. <laughs> exactly. I remember one last thing I need to ask you about. Go I'm on. A, enough of Alphabet. Yeah. What was it like to work with Villamar? Villamar! God! Oh, she's so cool. Do you know what she... Do you know what about Philomine? She um, used to give belting classes to us when we were doing that show. She's such a lovely girl, like, so kind. So, like, really, like, her voice is just ridiculous. Yeah. It's ridiculous. The same with, like, Tucker. Like, I just, yeah. I, I watch her and I'm like, just, I just, I don't know how to do that. I don't know how to do that. What was like, it, um, what, how did she teach it? What did she say? What's this, what's I can't this? remember. 
<laughs> obviously didn't work, did it? <laughs> um, I, I, I can't remember, but but she, yeah, she used to give us belting classes because it was me and I think Sarah Moyle. We were like, could you teach us how to belt? And then um, she she gave us a couple of belting classes. And Ricardo was in that as well. Yeah. I got to work with Ricardo. Woman well. on the verge of a nervous breakdown. Yeah, we were. We were. <laughs> <laughs> um that's a great show as well really great show good music in that um yeah she's lovely she's lovely Phil of mine and and you know so all those alphabets like just astonish me anyone who's played alphabet and sings those songs I'm just like bow down to you because it's really hard I mean I've, I've actually given myself nearly given myself nodules trying to sing those songs before have you been so, a I was up for it when it first came out <laughs> the first year. Never again. I'd rather do Glinda, though. Yeah. I'd rather do Glinda for, for me. I'd rather do... I think it's a, like more of a comedy part. I'd quite like to do yeah. that comedy part if I was going to do either of them. Because I'm only saying that because I can't sing Alpha. So. <laughs> <laughs> but are there shows out there that you've were down to the finals and didn't get? There must be, yeah. I mean, I was d- down quite far... Um, for Dirty Dancing for Baby, when oh. not not the singer, but like the baby, the, the yeah, part. Yeah. Um, and I met I met Eleanor, what's her name, who who was the original, who was the actual baby. Yeah, Eleanor Gray. Baby. Uh, yeah, Eleanor Gray, yeah. Uh, yeah, I've probably been in loads of things that I haven't got. Child and Chocolate Factory. Like, yeah, loads of stuff. But you just kind of go, oh, well, that one didn't happen. There must be a door opening somewhere else. It's, you can't let it bog you down, can you? It's just... Exactly. So, I mean, it's, it's, you've got to take the disappointment, feel the disappointment for one day, I say, one day, and then get over it, <laughs> which is easier said than done. <laughs> but it's always nice to get down to the final, isn't it? Yeah. It's always nice to get down. You must have done something right to get to the final. You just, you know, you're not the jigs... Oh my god, I sound like I sound like a casting director now. But you're not but you're not the jigsaw piece they're looking for <laughs> if you don't get it. You you're good enough to be in it, but you're not the jigsaw piece they're looking for. <laughs> where were you when you got the call for Heidi? Oh my god, I remember exactly where I was. I was on the tube on the way to work, right? At and um, just before Stockwell, my agent texts me. Now I knew that I was waiting to hear about it. My agent texts me, he's like, Have you got a minute to talk? And I was like, I got off the tube. I got off the tube at Stockwell Station. I went around the corner. I could like stand in exactly the same at the, the point where I was standing in Stockwell Station, and I just stood there. And I knew, I knew. Weirdly, I I kind of knew. It's it's a weird thing, but a vibe or whatever. But I just cried my eyes out. Cried my eyes out. I remember where I was when it where when I got the call for every job that I've ever got. And how long did you have to keep it to yourself? Long time. Too long. That one. <laughs> too long because everyone was going have you heard anything from uh, no haven't heard anything. <laughs> <laughs> no, no no especially being in in, in like a, you know a theatre whatever people are asking but it was a long time eventually I just forgot about it <laughs> just forgot about it until I could actually tell people we couldn't tell people until like the week before we went to New York it was crazy that that good a good secret it's not a bad secret Anyway, I should let you go. Go make sure. Oh, you- it's okay. Friday night. I've got so much to do. Go get your daughter's dinner on. Going out cl- no, I'm going out clubbing. I'm going out yeah. clubbing. <laughs> oh, I've got to make my daughter um, sausages and smash she's got tonight because that's how good a mum I am. Smash, not even real mashed potato. Smash. Oh, <laughs> you love it, though. Oh, it's been so nice talking. Yeah. Can you see I haven't talked to anyone for a while? <laughs> I've been talking quite a lot, haven't I? Oh, <laughs> like, yeah, shut up now. Can you go? <laughs> anyway, it's been lovely chatting to you, my darling. You. And I'll see you very soon, hopefully with pink hair next time. Yeah, long pink hair. Get my extensions back in. Oh, I'll be back. <laughs> Rock chick. All right, lovely to speak to you. <laughs> see you later. Take care. Bye. 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 <laughs>